good morning oh no it's afternoon sorry <laughs> yes i am uh, a little uh behind i thought it still was morning but it's not so um this is um my last pour for this year i know tomorrow's the 31st but um there's a, a sort of a thing that you make all sorts of little dishes and stuff to do the uh, end of the year thing so uh, you won't be seeing me tomorrow or maybe you might you never know with me you know if i really get bored i might do something i don't know maybe a little um maybe a tiny little marbling in a little container that'd be cool wouldn't it yeah because i'm really um i'm still uh pretty much um wait a minute let me get it i'm still very much uh in love with this you know not the real uh neatly tidy stripes but this chaos that i that you see here i think it's kind of pretty and I'm, i think i might be doing something with them but then in really small just this this is so amazing let me get in close there you are look at that isn't that just beautiful all by itself i think it is okie dokie what am i gonna do today i am going to do a uh uh, three of these canvases and I'm gonna do a push and a pull. I haven't done that for a very long time Let me get you an example Okay, uh, a while back I did uh, small ones. These are 10 by 10 and uh, I made them that they would sort of fit together like waves and I have been um, also been let me show you doing the varnish so these are ready to go if anyone wants to buy these they go uh, together I don't want to sell them apart but um, if anyone wants to buy this I would be selling them for 60 euros all three together including shipping anywhere in the world yeah so that's it 60 and if you do you'll have to mail me don't put it in the comments you really have to mail because otherwise you know you might just you know i might not get to you in time so the first one that mails me for 60 euros it's yours so i'm gonna try to do something else like this but a little bit bigger And I haven't been doing this for quite a while, so that's why I thought I'd do that. What I have is uh, uh, the background, of course, white. And it has been sitting here, losing the bubbles for a little bit. Because I've had uh, a couple of mails about people having trouble with uh, the bubbles in the paint. And um, when I we emailed back and forth a little bit, and the thing is that they were using spray can silicone, like I did in the beginning, so um you know some people just go to the couple of first videos i had and way back then i was um sort of learning myself so i used the spray silicone and it gives bubbles yes silicone there's no silicone in there yet so what i like to do is um put about let's see three drops in these where the, and this one four because there's a little bit more paint in there and this one has a little bit more paint and a little bit in there and in the explosions you're hearing that that's for um that's the uh firework stuff they can't get enough of it Okay, I'll leave the this one here because that has no silicone. Because in the background color, I don't want to put silicone because then it gets, uh, I don't know, more chance of uh, getting those little dents. And I don't want those in there. So mixed it all up. Now the colors I have is Prussian blue, my self-made uh, turquoise, 
which is phthalo blue and green with a little bit of white mixed up. You can still see the green here. That's phthalo green. This is titanium white. This is cyan blue or Windsor blue, I'm not sure. And this is my self-made green. It's the, the green Windsor Newton has with a little bit of yellow in it because I like this color better. So that's what I made. Now we've got it all mixed up. And what I'd like to do, clean off my gloves so that I don't contaminate that white canvas. I have a uh, clean pellet knife. And what I'm going to do, yeah, big explosions. I'll tell you how it works here. Um, I live in a little, uh, um, what do you call it, sort of a, a little, not a town, not a city, but really small. And uh, they do, they put something that's called carbit. They put it in a, um, oh, how do you call that? I'm not sure if you know that. It's like an, a metal thing where they put milk in, but that's from like 50 years ago. And it has a metal lid and you can do it airtight. And that's what they do. They put that car carbit, they put it in there and then they put um, a little bit of moisture in there with it and somehow it, it sort of starts doing stuff. I don't know what, I've never really, can you hear it? That's how loud it is. Um, they put uh, moisture in, then it does something and then they put a like a blowtorch to the back of the uh, metal container. Then the pressure builds up and you hear that big, big noise and it's really, really very dangerous because that lid comes flying off and it's totally crazy. A lot of uh, people get hurt when they, uh, when they do that, but it's totally crazy stuff. And they do that two or three days in a row and the animals go crazy, the birds, everything. I'll go crazy. I don't know why they like to do it. I don't have a clue. Okay, just a little bit more. I'm trying, I'm gonna do this a little differently. I think I should get a brush. There it goes, nice and smooth. And if all else fails, I can always become a baker. And then I can do icing on cakes, right? There we go. Yep, I'm gonna get a brush. Not a real big one, but I just wanna make sure that my little corners are covered. That's it. Normally I won't make so much of a fuss, but if I'm gonna be selling them, I want them to be, uh, the white that you see has got to be paint, not the canvas, because that's ugly. There we go. Okay, we're done. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit here and there, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of bubbles. So what I like to do is just torch it a little like that to make the, uh, all the bubbles disappear. Make it nice and flat. See if it's moving. Not that much, I think. That's good. Maybe a little bit more here. You want to have one solid, solid uh, paint thing all over the place. So let's see. Okay, we're ready. Now, I've got a cloth here to wash my hands. Now I'm going to fill up my little cups and do a little pour. I'm going to start with the dark brown of the dark blue. Dark brown. We don't even have brown. That's it. This one. That's that. Ooh, I overloaded it, I think. And I need a little stir thing. Let's 
so we're going to make sure that some of that white goes way down there. Oh, I hate it when children scream. I always think there's something going on. And now I'm going to turn it around, push it, push it up, and pull it down just like that. Ooh, that's pretty. And make it come down. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. And we're going to torch it. I really like the uh, what it's doing now. And I'm tilting to just make those cells a little bigger. And letting it come down a bit, tapping it on the uh, on the table, and the cells are even getting better and better. Look at that! And that's just as far as I'm gonna go. That is pretty. Look at that up close. There it is. That is really pretty, right? Okay. I'm going to put this aside. And we're going to start with the next one. Yeah, it's going to be a long video, guys. But I'm sure most people don't mind. So we come back in with the background color. And now I've got to watch out with all the paint on the on the table that I don't contaminate it this goes a little faster there we go Got blue on there. Don't want that on there. Had to take that off because you don't want a contaminated uh, canvas. There we go. Okay. Let's get it right down there. A little bit up here. And let's spread it down a little bit. There we go. And it doesn't really have to be so smooth because I'm going to be pushing and pulling anyway. So that's it. Now getting rid of those few little pesky bubbles. There we are. No bubbles. All nice and smooth. Now I have to watch out. There we go. Clean off the gloves. And I'm going to use the same cup, only a little bit more white, just a little bit, and more dark. A little bit of green. That's it. And maybe a little bit of dark on top. That's it. That's better. Ooh, this is slippery. Ooh. 
You don't want to slip when you're doing the push and pull because if you slip, you know, that will really mess it all up. Okay, we're ready. Ooh, gotta be careful not to contaminate anything. Put it on there, pull it up, pull it down. Let's do one like that. And let it come down. nice but I think we can make it better because we want those same big cells that we have in the other one and as you can see here it's spreading already it's kind of cool just gonna flip it off there that's good there we have something similar to the to the other one. I really like this, what's going on there. That is beautiful. Okay, let me get you in close. There it is. Really pretty. Putting these aside. Putting this down. Okay, we have one more to go. And we're going to make a lot of squishes because I'm going to be using all this. So let me get you back in focus. Last one. There we go. Really got to make it. <coughs> make the sides neat wow that one really just landed next to the uh <laughs> next to the canvas ooh got to be careful here don't want a big white blob in the middle of my canvas Okay. All done. That's a lot of paint. Let's torch it. And pull it down that way. Got to make sure that that corner is covered too. There it is. It's ready. But I have to fill the torch. I can hear that it's almost empty. <coughs> we are ready to go. A little green, a little blue, a little turquoise, the darker, and of course a little bit of white. Oh, and I did the white without the silicone in it. That's stupid. Well, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna stir it all up. Now I hope I'm not going to slip. Let me clean that one glove. Okay. Here we go. This one I wanted to make a little different. Oops. <laughs> I almost dropped it. Just look at that, that is beautiful just by itself, isn't it? 
Oh, yes it is. So let it come down. And I'm going to torch. And of course we're going to tilt and I'm going to keep this top bit because I like that the best. Ooh, that is pretty. Let's just leave it just like that. It has a little bit more green than the others, but the others do have green and sort of comes out. That's kind of cool. Let me see, just a little a bit this way. Yep, just making them the same size as the uh, the other canvases. So now we have three in exactly the same shades of colors and we can match them uh, any which way we want because um, they have, um, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three. They have three sides where you can connect them. So that's gonna be fun. And I really can't show it well enough I think because Ooh, don't touch each other okay see that and then this one I would let that one come in here ah you can't see it let's see there it is some but you can turn them around do whatever you want with them but they look really pretty don't they <laughs> So that's the three pours I had in mind. Now I have to um, move them over to the table to dry carefully. I need another paper. And this one. Okay, and now I have only one thing that I still want to do before I do uh, before I do the cleanup. I want to do one tiny one. Let's see. Uh, this was the background. Whoops. And I do want to put in a little bit of uh, a little bit more silicone, especially in the dark, because I, I want to do a lot of dark. And this one. Okay, we're ready. Now going to pour the background. Ooh, gotta watch out, it was a little bit contaminated there. And these are really hard to hold because they have a tiny little hole in the back, I'll show you in a bit. And you don't want to drop them. Ooh, that is totally contaminated. Can't do anything with that brush. the next one. See a little hole in the back? These don't come with these uh, little pegs that you can tighten it up with because you don't need it. And a good thing about um, the colors I'm using, I don't have any more of those beautiful um, U-bows for the uh, pendants in these colors. So, I'm glad I used these colors. Palette knife, nice and clean. Okay, oops. There we go.
Okay, this one's ready, and I will put that down there. And now I'm going to put in a lot of that blue because I want something really dark. Let's see. But it should have a little bit of something going through it. So that's why I'm going to use a little bit of white and a little bit of turquoise and a tiny splash of green. But as you saw, the most of the color is dark. Eh, maybe not dark enough. Huh? I'm not going to use it all, I think. So let's see. That's a lot of paint. That's almost enough to cover the whole canvas. So let's put it down there. Oops, not working like I thought it would work. But that doesn't matter. Now we're going to let it run down slowly. And my hand is pretty awkward. <laughs> this is my left hand, believe it or not. I really want it to come down and go over the, uh, absolutely over the corner. That's it, nice and smooth. Turn it around a tiny bit. No, it's not working. I thought I'd get a lot more um, of that color, you know, blending in here. So I'm going to squish it. Put it on there and uh oh, that's not good. Put some there. Nope, I don't like it. I'm going to take it off because uh, this is totally ugly. <laughs> this is totally ugly. Let's see. We can just do that and pour around it and pull it up. That looks better. making them a little bigger. See, the, the whole thing about the bigger cells is all, a lot about, you know, when you torch and then you just let it spread, as you can see. I don't like that thing, though. I want that off. Some will, someone will comment that they saw a fish or, I don't know, some something in that, because <laughs> that's usually what happens. But I don't like that thing, so I'm going to take it off. There it goes. And now I'm going to let that one come back because I like that one. That is pretty. Now it has the little cells there and the big ones there. This is uh, perfect. I like it. Going over the side, see that? Isn't that awesome? Now guys, when I do a video of 30 minutes, I am going to put three ads in there. And I know a lot of people hate the ads, but please, you know, I have to put some ads in there. So uh, sorry to... Uh, Oh, that is pretty. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, you can see it. I love it. I love this one. Okay, gonna put it away. Oops, paper. And this is gonna be a long video, but you know, because I'm not doing one tomorrow, I don't think you'll care, right? And all the people that don't like the squishes, if you don't like the squishes, go down here, down there, and click on stop. And then I will not be bothering you with squishes. I do want green in the squishes. That's going to be fun. Ooh, that is pretty. First this one. bit of the paint run off because but maybe the other way around oops no okay very dramatic with all those green stuff in there now this one this time I, I am gonna let it run down a little bit wow that was a big one The good thing uh, about um, those uh, really loud explosions you hear, the good thing is that it takes a lot of uh, time to, you know, set it back up. Only they have had like, they have been putting like 12 in a row. Then you hear bam, 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 bam. And then it takes half an hour for them to set it back up. But the windows in my house sort of, you know, you can, you can hear them go from the explosion. You can hear them move. Really bad thing. Let's do this a little differently. Like that. That's the background. Now I'm going to do drops. Like that. Why doesn't that thing go back in focus? There you go. Pretty. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> Pretty, my little precious. Yes, that's Lord of the Rings. I know. Oui, that is cool too. Let it move a little. Uh-oh, it's not selling at all. Oh yeah, there it comes. Just a tiny bit though. That's kind of disappointing. I think there's too much paint. Okay, we'll put that away. This is the last one, promise. Okay.
okay, this is the last one. I'm gonna find it a nice little place to dry and I will be doing something with this because that's a waste. And now I've got all these colors. I still have a lot in there. So maybe I'll be back tomorrow anyway because I can just leave them here without a lid and I can use them tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a 20 by 20 tomorrow. Okay, guys, love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. And wishing you a good day today. Bye-bye.